Right, well, here we are in Dreams VR. Patchy's now live. Um, okay. So, first up, this is the first thing I'm seeing. Text is clear. Okay. Um, not blurry at all. I'm not being sarcastic. Um, let me just recenter that view. Um, <laughs> okay. I'm on click turn at the moment. Oh, okay. Let me just go into controls. He says. My preferences. VR. Camera scissors. Okay. Okay, let's get rid of that. Can we get rid of that? Please complete all aboard VR to unlock this setting. All oh, right. Okay. So I need to do some all aboard VR. Oh, I've got to do this before I can change any of that. Okay. Right. So I moved the little guy right to where I want him. No problem. Um. Okay. I was expecting a bit of a kind of no man's sky blur if I'm honest. Uh I'm just on the D pad at the moment. So I don't want to kind of overcomplicate things. Okay. Uh, okay. Explore this room in third person view and find a way through. You can click right free to manually reset your view if you wish. Okay. Well, as you can see, the tracking's. Um, Pretty spot on. Any I'm missing? Yeah. Behind me, of course, and I'm sitting down. I think that should be all of them. Is that all of them? No, I'm missing one. All right, one, two. Missing another one. Let me guess, he's going to be there. Oh, right, okay. Down we go. Let me just. Okay, so this is section three, I take it. Free camera in VR. Okay, here we go. Uh, <laughs> okay, so I'm going to get vignette vignetting. Yes, left and right to fly through the zones and get a feel for the vignette. Fly through the zones to progress. Okay. 
Oh yeah, that'll need turning off. But do fly through it or Okay, frame rates fine. Zip in VR. Okay, right, alright, whatever. Uh L one right one for all the times and finally zips to the final shape, okay. Oh, it's like click turning steps, is it some? Shan't be using that. Reel in. Yeah, okay. Hover over the block, hold right too. Okay. Okay. This will look absolutely stupid to uh, anybody on flat screen because obviously you haven't got depth perception as you have in VR. Yay. Okay, great. Let's turn this off and uh, actually check a game out. Uh, yeah. Um, so I need to go to settings, do I? Oh, well. Um. Okay. VR. Comfort mode. Want to enable the camera to reduce or remove to increase comfort on VR. No, let's go. Turn all of this off. Uh, dream shaping, menu distance, middle. What else have we got? Allow front. Yeah, okay. Uh, static sky. Yeah, okay. Um. Uh, hide non VR content when in VR. Hide VR only content when not in VR. Okay. Controls. <laughs> right. Okay, let's go. Um VR is now supported in dreams, bringing a whole new dimension to play and creation. With it comes a number yeah, of new this, dream this is, features, this is which will help this is you good. get the most out of your dreams VR experience. When playing dreams in VR for the first time, the best place to start is with Media Molecules All Aboard VR. This short VR experience will introduce you to some important new controls. You will need to complete all aboard VR to unlock your VR preferences. Yep, done it. Thank you very much. Among these is comfort mode. When this preference is enabled, camera motion is reduced or removed. Comfort mode is switched on by default, but you can disable it in the VR section of the My Preferences menu. Way ahead of you. If there are no puppets or cameras in the scene, you'll be able to move freely using your controller. When moving with the controller, you will see a vignette around the edge of your view. You can change the strength of the vignette using the slider in the My Preferences menu. Set it to zero if you wish to turn it off. Now let's jump into Dream Surfing and see what's new there. Okay. Dream's VR Inside the Box is Media Molecule's VR Showcase. 
It features a number of VR games, art installations, and interactive puzzles. Okay, let's go check that out. VR, you will see a VR compatibility label and an experience rating on its cover page. The label is set by the creator to indicate how compatible their creation is with VR. The experience rating is set by players, indicating how experienced in VR they think a player needs to be to play it. A rating of 1 indicates that it's suitable for people new to VR. A rating of 3 indicates that it's best for people experienced in VR. If you're unsure about playing something with a higher VR rating, you can choose to play in cinema mode, a virtual big screen. Which is what I'm seeing now. With your VR headset, but they may not be optimized to be played that way. In some cases, you will only be able to play them in cinema mode. If a dream's frame rate drops below a certain threshold, the view in your headset will automatically switch to cinema mode. You can prevent this from happening in most cases by enabling allow low frame rate in VR in the My Preferences. Oh, that's handy. But there's a minimum threshold for our VR performance standards. Below that, the setting will not apply, and you'll be switched to cinema mode anyway. If you only want to see creations which are compatible with VR, you can choose to filter all unsupported content. And if you're interested in creating your own VR games, first check out what's new in Dream Shaping and watch our useful tips. Right, okay, so... What have we got in VR? If anything yet. Um, okay, let's, let's just... Uh, uh, left one, that one. Let's just go and have a look at media molecules I've got to uh, offer. Okay, again, sharp, easy to read. Tracking's good, even though I'm using a, a, a pad rather than the uh, move controllers, which I'll try later on. Okay, again. Nice and clear, nice and sharp. Okay, so more free movement at the moment. Let's go. Don't like how they rotate around you. Um, hold L1. Oh, okay then. No. Oh, right, there's a tactile feel to that with the rumble, which is quite nice. Oh, that's quite nice. I like that. Okay, moving in. We've moved into a white space. Loading's pretty quick. Take it that white space was a loading uh, area. I've got the clouds animated. Uh, okay. Again, good detail. Good sense of size. What does that do?
Oh right, if I put... I don't know what that was about. How far can we throw this? Oh. I see. <laughs> Can't throw it hard enough with the, with the pad. Without launching me pad somewhere. Yeah, I'm going to launch my pad here if I'm not careful. Right, okay, it's enough of that. Let's try this door. <coughs> Ooh, we've got a gun. Okay, number one's flashing. Shoot the cubes. Okay, tracking's good. Um, shoot the cubes to score the points. Can we go through? What cubes are we looking at here? Shoot the cubes to score points and engage. Score multipliers shown on the right side of gun. Uh, shoot small flying debris to maintain score multiplier. Oh, right, okay. I'm with you. Oh, it's going to open. <laughs> That's a nice little mini game to get through the door. Uh, so you got to try and keep your multiplier going. says oh, I'm at, ah right okay so that's controlling them happy with that oh there's a time bonus what's that okay interesting Caution, lethal lava ahead. Okay. Again, it's all sharp. Lighting's good. Okay, uh, what else can we say about that? The movement's pretty quick. Yeah, the speed he's moving at's pretty quick. Movement's quite fluid. Um, I'm not seeing absolutely anything that's... That's a problem, really. Nice little mini game, really. Oh, 
Okay, this could be quite addictive. Okay. Right, what am I waiting for here? Have I missed something? Whoop. Okay, so that's all three done. Again, getting really up close with this stuff, and um, yeah, it's good. Okay, so that's pretty good. Uh, we'll have one. Oops, we'll, we'll try and chimp out of there. Yeah, okay, we'll give that a thumbs up, definitely. Let's just see if we can find what we've got here. Um, let's see what this is. Uh, okay. So I take it this is user created? Previous to, um, uh, okay, then what for what's into here? Okay, again, frame rate, resolution, lighting, it's all spot on. Speed of movement's good as well. That may be a little bit slow on this, I'm not quite sure. Um. No, what's the clue? Is it the pattern? Oh, maybe not. It's not the pattern. I'm missing something here. Um... Missing. We've got to match these. Up, oh, down. I think. Uh, both left. Uh. <sighs> okay, both that way. That one has got to go that way. Hey. 
uh, over way. Confusion reigns. It's a nice little puzzle though, this. What am I looking at? Oh gosh, right. Hello, Mr. Angry. So everything up. Everything is up. Oh, on the wall behind. Uh, oh God. Left, down, right, left. Okay. But it's all reversed. What have we got here? Left, left. Down. Why are they moving separately? And then facing each other. Okay. Just let me pause a minute. Excellent. So that's the user created one that was obviously created before VR. Works excellently. Uh, no. Try one more. Twenty dreamers playing this, whatever this is. Is this it? Okay. Again, text perfectly clear. Sharp. Okay. Is that out of a one? The ancient relics. Mm. The old floppy disks. Okay, so we've got flat screen here. It's a really wide flat screen. Now we've gone back into VR. Okay, so that's got oh, it's got a camera. Let's not move that around. Okay. Oh, I see. Astro bot. Just, uh... Now to get back up that way. Move my camera. Okay, so I'm not... Again, everything's moving really quick. Everything's sharp. Oops. How do we get up there? It'll have to be over there, isn't it? What are you going to tell me in Commodore 64? All right. Um, okay. Spin the camera around. Don't know how you would tap back. Don't know if you can. Whoop, it moved. Okay, sense of depth and height on here is brilliant. Right, that takes care of the save points. We'll stay up here. Am I supposed to be rescuing these birds or something? Any other keys to anything? 